Hi everyone, this is Hani and today I'll be making seashell cookies. These are uh, conch shell cookies and although you can get different cutters online, I really like this particular shape so I made a template from a plastic divider and I'm going to show you how to hand cut cookies and I'm using for this my X-Acto knife. And also to show you how I make my cookies even thickness, I use uh, two painter sticks on each side on my board and I am going to roll the cookie dough between these two painter sticks. This will ensure they are even thickness. And uh, when you are working with an X-Acto knife, I would recommend that you have uh, uh, extra blades on hand because it helps to have a sharp blade so if you have to you can replace it it's very easy and just put a new one there okay just like that and then just take your uh, exacto knife along with your template and place the template on the top of the cookie and using the knife cut out the cookies so when hand cutting cookies you want to make sure that your cookie dough is not too soft so if it gets a little soft, I would recommend that you refrigerate the dough until it firms up a little bit. And once you're done hand cutting all the cookies, you can bake them as usual. And then let them cool completely before decorating them. And to decorate these, I'm going to use royal icing. But first, I wanted to show you what I like to do. I like to mark the areas of the cookie that I'll be decorating with uh, different... Uh, different techniques. So here is my first area that I will do and then second just so I know what I'm doing and so it's clear. And first I'm going to do brushed embroidery technique. Here I'm piping stiff, um, medium to stiff icing onto the cookie and I'm using a clean painter's brush and I'm just brushing the icing gently towards uh, the center of the cookie. And if you'd like, you can add a little bit of color there. I'm adding, this is a little bit of ivory. You don't have to, you can keep it white, doesn't matter. And when you are working with a brush like this, you want to clean it a few times in a damp paper towel. It helps to have a clean brush. And this is my second row I'm doing. I'm going to do three to rows total. Okay, so just finish the second row and then... I'm going to pipe the last row, the zigzag line, and I take the brush and the same thing. If you need a little color, you can add it as well, just like I mentioned before. Okay, and once we are done uh, doing our brushed embroidery, we can uh, start flooding the cookie. So I'm starting at the end of the cookie, and I'm using, uh, this is about 10 second icing. And I'm just outlining the whole cookie. And I'm also using my piping guides that I drew with uh, my foot pen. It makes it a lot easier. So uh, just pipe the outline around the cookie and then uh, all the little details. And then um, once you're done doing that, um, you can start flooding every other window. So first I'm starting with this one and then uh, I'm going to move on to the largest area and I'm just going to flood it with icing like I'm doing here. And then take a needle tool or a toothpick and spread the icing around to smooth it out and remove any bubbles. And once your icing is all smoothed out you can take a contrasting color icing. I'm using blue and this icing is also 10 second icing. And I'm just going to pipe a few lines onto the wet white icing. And then take a needle tool and starting at the top pull the needle tool through the icing towards the pointy part of the cookie, creating a pretty pattern. And then uh, let the rest of the icing crust a little bit and then you can flood the remaining areas. And once you're done doing that, um, you may want to let the cookie dry or the icing dry and then you can add additional details like I'm adding little dots. And then 
I'm going to add a little shimmer to my cookie using luster dust. I'm using gold luster dust mixed with little lemon extract and just brush the luster dust directly onto the cookie. You can also use Everclear or um, Decorator's Rose Spirit to dilute your luster dust. And here are my finished cookies. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive all the video updates via email. Thanks for watching.